Hey guys, it's Blacksmith92 here, and we are back with the Archimedes and Pixelmon uh, mod world that we have here. And last episode we built this barge, and today I'm going to try to build a fairy. Uh, not like the little, you know, mythical creature that flies, but, oh, they're fighting. But the, uh, you know, the one that carries vehicles and stuff. So, we're going to try and do that. And to start, we're going to make it long. We're going to make it one, two, three. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it'll be however long by nine wide. And I think that should be plenty. Uh, yeah, we'll go like. So it'll be pretty long, certainly long enough, and we'll just see what we can do, and I'm just going to sort of make it up as I go along, just because I have never actually built a fairy in uh, Minecraft, because, you know, there really was no point, because they couldn't move, so it was just like, why bother? But now that you can actually build things that move with this mod, it's actually kind of cool, and something I want to try. So we'll go like this. Oops. Probably should have built it a little higher. Hopefully this is working. Oh good, it's all set up. Let's go like this. And yes, it looks very much like the barge, but I promise you it will look different once it's done. Or once we get past the hole, at least. Alright. Okay. And then, like the barge, one more deep, so it has a nice draft. And, oops, do not want to over. Let's see, where are the stairs going to go? The stairs will go here, I do believe. And I don't think I have this. Shoot. like that. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Shoot. Kind of hard to tell underwater, but I think we're getting this just fine. Yeah, it's just fine. Then come back over onto this side. Got the sand bank in my way. Perfect. Uh, let's see where the stairs. Okay, so there's the stairs. So then that's where they should be, right? Yeah, we're good. Ah. Okay, good so far. Good so far. There we go. Sweet. Okay, so let's uh, seal it up. Ooh, yes. Like this. So now we're just going to seal up the bottom of this little sucker. So we can at least pretend that it's watertight, but this is, uh... Ooh, I wonder if it's going to... Yeah, I think I deleted these water blocks, so... I don't know how it's going to work when we move the ship. Because uh, when you move a ship through the water, it doesn't actually delete the water blocks, which is nice. They actually program that well. But uh, I'm building the ship right now, so I actually might be deleting the water blocks. So, yeah, we'll see. Who knows? One thing at a time. And it's too late to worry about it now. This is why you sort of want to build it up in the air, I guess. So you have uh, space to work with. And so that you don't accidentally delete water blocks, which is what I'm pretty sure I just did. But let's work on the deck. And the deck, since this is going to be vehicles, let's look for something black in color. Black stained clay. Ooh, I've never used that before. But it makes sense if we're making a... Shoot. A roadway for it. Because remember, this is a ferry, so... Yeah, we'll just keep wood for the first two. Because I'm going to be putting a P 
pistons down there. Oh, maybe I'll just put the pistons down now then. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, shoot. <laughs> My bad. I didn't realize these were stairwells. Hard to tell from the inside, but let's get some sticky pistons. So basically what's going to happen is, normally these are all going to be engaged and set for... Oops. Ooh. I wonder if redstone actually moves with it. So let's... I think that might actually be a problem. Because redstone might not move with it. And if it doesn't, then... Uh, so let's get the helm. Oh, okay, so the redstone does move with it. That's nice. Perfect. Alright, so redstone. Let's get some repeaters up in here. Go like this. Connect them all. And let's see if having it... Let's see which one... At this point, either one could be the front of the ship, to be honest. But let's just see. So we'll go like this. And... Go like this. So default mode. It will be with them engaged, because that'll put them up. So for now, let's toss the door. Let's see if this will hit them all. Okay, good. So they're all engaged. Perfect. So then we can do something sort of like this. Ooh, is that going to work? Let's get a lever. And this time we'll toss out the repeaters, because I don't think we'll need those anymore. No, that's not going to work. Uh, instead, what we got to do is we got to start... Uh, I don't even know how to do this, so we're just going to play around with it for a little bit. Okay, so that works. So that's a good start. But, hmm. <laughs> this might be the most ghetto setup ever, but we're going to try it anyways. Uh, I know, the problem is I can make it go up, but I have trouble making things go down. So, that's what's the issue with this system, at least. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Well, let me get just think about this for a second. So, I could just have it to default set to the bottom. Just have the lever just sort of close to the bottom of the ship. But that's kind of inconvenient. So I guess what we could do is we could snake it up. We'll work on that later. For now, let's work on getting the roadway done. So we'll use black stained clay for now. Toss that. And then we'll use white wool. Is this actually give no it's pink. I don't care about pink. Let's use wool. Wool will be fine. Toss the lever for now. Alright, so three. And we'll just dig it up. This isn't really black, but whatever, it'll be fine. I think there is a block limit onto what you can put on these ships, so hopefully we don't exceed it, but it's very possible. Now we'll do that. And we'll just use white down the center. 
Now what we'll do is we'll use uh, wood down the center to separate them out. There we go. And then we'll go, oops, shoot. Go like this, knock these two out, knock those two out. There we go, that'll be fine. And yeah, it's not gonna be perfectly symmetrical, but that's okay. Alright, so we got two little roadways. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. Now, let's focus on turns into an actual ship. So this is going to be the where the helm will go. We'll have it yay tall for no real apparent reason. And it'll extend out to here. So yes. So that'll be fine. Maybe it's a little too tall, actually. Yeah, you know, we'll make it one shorter. So let's go like this. Eliminate this. Alright, there we go. So the bridge will go up here. Now we gotta do is find a way to activate the uh, the lever from up here, because that would be really nice. If we were in Tekken, I could just use red alloy wire, and this would be a piece of cake. But uh, let's see, we'll come up with something hopefully. If not, we can just make an ugly looking little thing going down. Right. So let's see. Do we want to cover those, or do we want to leave it open? Uh, theoretically, it should be covered. But let's start by putting support beams through here. Now we'll put another one off to the side here to help support it well. Alright, so now we can actually work on this part, which will be pretty simple. Hopefully it's not too big, I think it might be, but if it is, it'll just be a nice decoration piece for the bay. But let's try to get this working. Shoot. Kind of hard to just get these panes done right, but we have infinite amounts, so we'll be fine. Shoot. To be honest, I just sort of got used to Ticket, so I kind of have to have this flying feature to build stuff now. Because <laughs> just on Ticket, you get a Swift Wolf's Rending Gale, and all of a sudden you're set to go for life. When it comes to flying, at least. Alright, so here's the bridge. If this works, we'll add like a little antenna tower, radar tower, whatever, maybe something on top. But for now, this will be fine. Hmm, looks a little funky, to be honest, but if it works, it works. 
So, let's see. Oh, fences. That's right. We'll use fences. So, fence. Essentially, what these are for is just to keep the vehicle safe from driving off. Hmm. All right, so let's go back down below. Ooh. Probably shouldn't have done this until after I had this all set up. So I think what we're just going to do is we're just going to have this go up at either end. So here, oh, I don't know how we'll do this, to be honest. Hmm. We will have probably just set up like a simple lever system. So yeah, let's just do that. Just make it simple for now. We can fix it later. So I'll just rebuild what I broke. Torches. Oh, I'm going to need that in a second. I shouldn't have tossed that. Oh, and now it's gone. Black. Black wool? Oh, no, not black wool. Uh, black stained clay. It's funny, because I haven't been on, like, a regular Minecraft thing in a while, so this is all sort of new to me. Used to the, uh, what's it called? Uh, take it. So, let's see, torch. I don't know if this is going to work or not. We're going to try it. So let's do this. And then the lever. I don't think it's going to work, but it's worth a shot. No. So we'll just go like this. Next best thing. We could reroute this so it goes to the center, which is exactly what we're going to do, actually. Uh, like this. Alright, all of them are engaged. Perfect. Black. Perfect compromise. Alright. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so now we actually have working ways on and off. Alright, so this might actually move, it might not. Uh, only way I know for sure is to give it a shot. So I may regret this, but we're going to try. See if we lost anything in the ship. Ooh. Seems like we may have lost something in the back. So let's take a look down there and see what we got. And we seem okay. Seems like we have everything. Uh, mm. No, it bothers me. It's, it's just too tall. I've got to go down one more, to be honest. Which I know seems ridiculous, but it's just going to bother me. Because it's just sitting way too high up. So let's go like this. Sorry about this, guys, but you no, know, it's uh oh shoot! I actually don't want to break those pieces of glass because they're actually in the right place. It's the top ones that I need to get rid of, though. All right, so let's pop back in here. Perfect. So it'll be a low roadway for the cars. That's okay. Because there really aren't going to be any. It's just so we have it for sure. But let's go like this. Alright, so now we have our 
that again. Let's go like this. A lot easier to set up when you have a block underneath to work with. Oops. Darn it. There we go. Oop. Fell through the hole. Alright. There we go. Now we gotta delete this. We're gonna cheat because I don't feel like deleting the roof right now, so <laughs> we're just gonna leave it behind. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. And it's gonna look kind of derpy, but it's what it's gonna be. So, let's back it up. There we go. Perfect. Now I'll build the new roof. And I can just delete that floating thing later. Or right now, actually, because it's kind of blocking my entrance to the bay, unfortunately. But, let's see, let's go like this. And we'll add ladders so you can get down to the road deck, no problem. But, for now, this is going to be our little setup. It's riding a little high in the water, which is annoying me. So we're going to go back down and basically just fill it with blocks. I don't know if the blocks have certain weights with them. Okay, that actually looks a lot better now. So I don't know if the blocks actually have certain weights associated with them. Oh, there we go. That's what I wanted to test earlier. Uh, okay, so it does work. I don't know what was up. It was just like a little glitch for a second. But anyways, let's find a heavy block. We'll use iron. Don't know if it makes a difference or not. Haven't really bothered looking it up, but we're just gonna basically go underneath the road deck and just fill it with blocks to try and make it ride lower in the water. So I do need the black stained clay back. And I do have, oh, I don't have the wool, unfortunately, but I didn't break any wool, so that's good. So just don't break any wool. There we go. And this ship is already pretty heavy, I imagine. It's got a lot of blocks to it, so I can't imagine having to add too many more iron blocks to get it to where I want it to be. But who knows? There we go. Perfect. Then, ooh, don't want to go over there. Okay, we'll come to the back over here. Load it down. Then come over here. Oh, yeah. There we go. We got a hole. We're spawning a leak. Okay, so. There we go. Alright. And let's see how high she is in the water. So she is one block too high for my taste. So maybe now it'll work. Nope, still too high. Oh, oh no. Well, I kind of goofed. Parked it right underneath the platform, which basically means that uh, it's attached now, which is exactly what I did not intend to do. So I have to delete it anyways. But let's see if we can get it to ride one lower. Which is, I'm surprised it's not uh, riding one lower as it is, because it's got a lot of blocks up here. But it might have something to do with the helm placement, who knows. I wonder what happens if I, because uh, the helm's kind of high up, I wonder what happens if I set the helm down here. Nope, still not. So the problem is just not enough blocks. So let's pop down here. Basically, you just gotta make it uh, full of blocks, I suppose. It's kind of annoying. You'd think it would be heavy enough right now to sink, but apparently not. Oops. All right. So here's some more space to work with. 
We're just going to keep adding blocks until I can't find a good spot to add more. Nope. It's a bad spot. It's an okay spot. Really should just start making these solid from now on. But, oh, no, can't do it there. Here? Here I can do it. All right, hopefully this will do the trick. We're gonna get a trapdoor. Basically, the ship is done for what I want it to do. Oops, darn. Start to pop in. Take command. Back it up. All right, so. That just sort of glitches me to the bottom. Darn it, it's still one too high. They need to have specific blocks that just sort of make it uh, drop down low. Because look, it's ridiculous how big this ship is and how uh, it's not sinking. Ooh. Ah, okay. So that's the problem. So we do need a repeater here. I just didn't notice this was a problem. And the repeater actually needs to go... Here's a good spot for it. Good. There we go. I just have to dig up this whole roadbed just to figure out where I can put more blocks. Here's a spot where I can put a couple. And let's go like this. Hmm. Let's see. You know, just to make it take up um, more space, just so we have more blocks down, put some fences up. Literally, right now, I'm just trying to do anything to make this ship heavier. You know, we're actually going to delete this one, just because we don't need it. All right, now let's try it. All right, and is it any lower? Let's take a pop up and take a look. And there we go, finally. Okay, so now it's sitting at the level I want. So there we go, we have our Darn it. Wait, what? Okay, it's just a little glitchy when you move around. So, let's see how this one can go. Actually, this whole thing right here can go. It's just like the one in the back. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So, there we go. We have our nice little fairy here. And... Yeah, so let's take her out for a spin. Alright, unlike the other ship, you actually get good uh, view all around. This is pretty cool. And last step is we need a gedge. There we go. So we'll pop off. Go like that. Perfect. And it's just a little... Oop. We beached it. Oh, I guess these gauges are different. I didn't even notice there were different types of gauges, but... Uh, ooh, okay, C, slow down. So eventually we'll build a dock, a little port for these ships, but for now, we have two ships, and they're both working pretty darn good so far, which is pretty sweet. Alright, so we have a ferry, we have our uh, barge over here, so hopefully you enjoyed the video, hopefully uh, you like the series, hopefully... <laughs> Do me a favor, if you like what you're seeing, just download the uh, the mod. It's a lot of fun, and it's really easy to download, and it adds a whole different aspect to Minecraft. So it's a lot of fun. Uh, go ahead and download it. If you enjoyed the video, uh, leave a like, check out other ones on my channel. But that's going to be it for this episode. Next episode, I think I'll work on a seawall, and probably a uh, a dock for these, just because... 
I'm going to keep building ships and then I'm going to have no place to put them. So, uh, that's going to be it. See y'all later. <laughs>